Man, that's nice. That was smooth. I like that. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome to the first ever Make Contain Action. I know it's a really clever podcast where your two favorite content creators that have very similar voices talk content, pop culture, gaming, and other important subjects. We sure do. That's what we talk about. Uh, the awesome. Per- important the, the person who's already talking is Paul, a.k.a. Action Jackson. <laughs> hey, that's me. Action Jackson on Twitch. Uh, I am Trevor May, also known as I am Trevor May, because I'm also clever. But uh, no one really cares about those two people. What they really care about mm. is our special guest today. I made you a special intro, so I'm going to get in, get this going real quick. Just, ooh, I'm honored. Intro. Thank you. We have our Let's special say. guest. Hailing <laughs> from the funniest corners of the internet, it's Gaba TV. <laughs> That's a little longer than I thought. <laughs> That's a little longer than I wow. thought. I thank you so much for the for all uh, the claps. That's for you, Gaba. Welcome to wow. the show, Gaba. You're the first Honestly, ever. How's it feel? so amazing like Good. i'm the first ever yeah you're the first the first one uh hopefully not the last one but who knows this oh. whole podcast could fall apart in a day yeah it's not uh, like this is my third attempt at a podcast i'm just trying again you know what i mean totally like i fine. totally stick with it um mm-hmm. uh so <laughs> i just really quickly for the people who are watching now and then maybe listening all, maybe in their car or maybe watching on youtube um Ooh. This is a very open, we're starting very open format with this. Our goal is to meet some, some, some really awesome content creators and learn all about them, but also talk about stuff that's going on in the content creation community and maybe get your, uh, get your take on those things too. And I don't think we could have had a better guest to start with than Gubba when it comes to all this stuff. Um, I agree. Yeah, because <laughs> cause she, she would agree. She, yeah, she is probably the most woke um that i oh, yeah i know um mm-hmm. on the on the internet <laughs> i don't yeah. know gubba has a really oh, good uh woke? good good hold you're very woke you you know pulse. yeah very yeah you got your thumb on the pulse of the internet i think that's a good thumb, way to put finger, it finger it could be a thumb yeah. whatever is easiest to feel pulses with that's mm-hmm. uh <laughs> i think the finger and the pointer finger middle finger right that's what they do on the it, movies oh, okay yeah yeah it's usually uh oh yeah no, Gubba, you're you're hip. You're on it. You're absolutely yeah. yeah. Absolutely. One of the um, one of the more unique, yeah, one of definitely one of the more unique channels there are on the internet is is Gubba TV for sure. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, kind of how we want how I thought we'd start off mm-hmm. is uh, because this is actually our first ever po- or episode. Um, you know, if we when we get to ten, you're gonna know a lot of the question and answers for Paul and I because we're gonna be on every episode. But true. This time will be our first time, so we are also going to answer these five very important questions. It's this is our first segment, getting to know our guest, and uh, I think that uh, something that a lot of people probably have wondered many, many times is uh, yeah. where did your screen name come from, Gubba? Yeah. Where did Gubba? Gubba. Come from? Yeah. Well. Um... It's kind of a weird story. You ready for a weird story? Thank kind of like, you. Yes, please. Yeah. So we're looking the forward to a weird story. If it was going to be lame, I would have told you to stop. <laughs> there was uh, so a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Me and my brother used to like to look through my par- our parents' yearbooks, and we were looking through my mom's yearbook, and there's like the one kid in school that my mom had a nickname for or whatever, and his name was Gubba. We were like scrolling through, and you're we like, "Who is this guy?" He was like, we called him Gubba. So then my brother thought it was really funny and called me Gubba. And it just sort of stuck. I hated it for a long time. I was like, what? Gubba? That doesn't, that's not a cool nickname. <laughs> but it's actually the coolest nickname. That's awesome. So your nickname <laughs> is actually some other guy's nickname from, from like, like the 70s. <laughs> like the 70s. In high school, <laughs> they all called him Gubba. Hey, Gubba. In the hallways. <laughs> What's going on, Gubs? Yeah. <laughs> Throw some peace signs. And now it's amazing. Like reincarnation through me, you know? Has he like copy striked you at all for this? Like, has he come after you? <laughs> I mean, Fifty-five-year-old uh, man, just furious. hey, that's my nickname. It's mine now. <laughs> that is that's amazing. Gubba, that's an interesting wow. way to get a to get a, a screen name. So I have a confession, Gubba. The first time yeah. that we played, 
t- games together. So there is a there is a episode of new. Do you watch the show New Girl? Did either one of you watch it with Zoe oh, Deschanel? Yeah. No. Okay. So really? oh, it's great. So great. so there's an episode where her um how do I put this uh she refers to her uh lady part as a gubba butt. <laughs> Gosh. And it, but it became really, really funny. So it became kind of a joke between me and my wife, like four years ago when the show came oh, out. No. And then I was like, "Gubba, gubba, gubba. oh god!" Oh, so I my. thought about it every time. But no. it's Zoe de Chanel, so it's funny. Yeah, it's it's better. Yeah, but and in the show, she even like says it and laughs every time because it's supposed to be like super stupid. But uh, Wait, yeah, so gubba, gubba butt, gubba, gubba butt. Gubba butt? Yeah, the gubba butt. You gotta say it really fast. Gubba butt. <laughs> gubba butt? Oh my. I will never. Uh, I, I might I even be saying it completely wrong. I don't know, but that's what I heard her say. And then so I made it. I could have done the thing where I just oh, change right. words over the more I say them. Um, we probably could have gone a long time without you giving up that piece of information. I'm sorry. To the, to the stream. I just thought it would be funny. I don't know. I did, for, at first, I was like, uh, 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 wait, her, name, never her name is Gubba? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm leaving. Like, She's uh, literally never coming back. No, but it's fine. It's a 55 year old man's uh, actual. I was just, I was so afraid that it, you got it from the show. I was so afraid. <laughs> and I was like, She's not going to be able to tell that story. That's not going to be I able think to happen. You've actually asked me before. I may have. Did you get that from New Girl? And I was like, What? I've never even seen that I was show. Like, never mind. Oh. Well, you should, because I think you would like that, it. Um, that one part is a great show. Yeah. How about you, Paul? Where'd yours come from? Action Jackson, Paul Jackson. Sure. Uh, my name came from uh, my father. So similar to Gubba. My father, however, though, is ancient, and he went to school in the 50s. So, wow. Uh, well, no, he was in high school in the 60s, but like his nickname in football was Action Jackson. So ah. Before the movie and, and, and action figure, all that kind of stuff. He was a running back in, in, in football, and his nickname was Action Jackson. He told me that when I was like 11 or 12, and I was like, that's a really cool name. That um, is cool. That yeah. is the most 60s football nickname ever. That's Action perfect. Action Jackson. <laughs> License plate, good. you know, like, you know, he's Booby Miles before Booby Miles, huh? That's pretty exactly. Cool. Yeah. Exactly. And, like, I was always actually uh, a little jealous of Tim because – like growing up, we would play video games, and he always have some sort of cool name for like his WoW character or his screen name, some sort of play off of his name. Because mm-hmm. Tim is more of a like yeah. a what is that word? Like a not a syllable, but like a sound. Yeah, yeah, can it, it can be a syllable words. in a lot of yeah. It could be like you make yeah. a big word out of it and put Tim somewhere in it, right? Exactly. And and Paul just wasn't effective. Like you, I don't know, <laughs> it's just not. Yeah, there's not, there's not many all words as M words for sure. Yeah. So I Trevor's have not a good cool either name. for that, by the way. Trevor's multi basalt yeah. Yeah. So like how yours is like really cool from your dad who played like football and you know, star of the team, and then mine is just like the kid who drank everybody's chocolate milk at lunch, who they called Gubba. And that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us to mine, uh which is literally yeah. my name. And I not only that, I have this horrible, horrible horrible habit of like like when yeah. one when, when playing a kid again got playing against a guy named like nate in a game like i can't come up with anything clever nate and then i'm like wait, <laughs> wait. my name is just but you know combining the brands is what i always say like it's my one thing it'll it'll apply to any little thing i anything i want to do on the side like i was a dj once and i now i stream on twitch and i play baseball so i'm like you know what my name's trevor every time so at least this way yeah. I can keep it and not have to change them constantly. Yeah, we had the, the DJ sure. phase at about seven name changes, so I, I learned my hey lesson beef, there. Dude. But yeah, yeah, hey beef. Yeah, hey beef came. Still not, not still not gonna explain that at all. But uh, still, still feel like it's on my rookie card and it's name. never going away. So mm-hmm. that's that's DJ phenomenal. Hey beef? That DJ hey beef is on the back. It's on the back of my major league baseball rookie card, which is like the most collectible <laughs> version of any card for anybody. There is. You always want the rookie card. It says, goes under the moniker DJ Haybeef <laughs> in the offseason when he DJs. I'm like, it said, goes under the moniker. Mo- it said moniker. I'm like, oh, my God. That's the, that's what we went with. I guess this is my fault. Um, Do you so, have that card? Oh, yeah. I got, I got a bunch okay. of them. 
Okay. So, a bunch of, can I? I would but, love one. Yeah, you, I want one too. Yeah, you, yeah, sure. Everyone gets cards. Uh, you just gotta steer in the skid. You know what I mean? So I just laugh about it and secretly just fall apart on the inside. Um, but uh, yeah, we got five questions here, so I'm gonna quickly okay, move perfect. us on to the next one. Um, yeah. What is your? And I know Paul's a connoisseur, and I, I'm fairly certain Gub is a connoisseur too of, of fast food. Oh, you guys have 100%. favorite fast food uh, joints. Chick Fil A. Yeah. Mm. You just there's no Domino. argument with that. That's I'm not a hundred percent surprised by that. I mean, not because for lack of the quality of of Chick Fil A, like nothing to take away from that. Wait, it's what? Just like, like I'm not taking anything away from Chick Fil A as being like an obvious choice, mm-hmm. but like something about Gubba like just screams chicken sandwich. I don't know Have what it is. Have you had their fries and their Chick Fil A <sighs> sauce? You can get like an like, eight ounce tub of Chick Fil A sauce. You know that? Oh, of I didn't. I actually didn't know that. You can <laughs> it comes in tubs. You can ask for yeah, the tubs can. and they'll give you tubs. Yeah. You can ask for a tub? <laughs> yeah, you can buy you know it that? in bulk. Because I have. Yep. Who's bold gonna... enough to ask for the sauce in tub form? <laughs> well, it's like a little tub, but you can get it. Because, like, sometimes you have to keep opening the little sauce packets, and it's just easier to get, like, a little tub. So then as you're chowing down, you don't have to keep opening and, like, take away from your sandwich. Facts. That's amazing. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I I, just, I didn't. I wanted. I wish I could have been there for the first time that you asked it. Excuse Can me. I get a it, tub, it, Jeffrey. Hi, hey, Jeff. Does it does it come in tub? Can well, I, I saw tub they form? had one. I saw it and I was like, "Can I just get one of those?" Because I was getting like ten sauces. So I just really go to town, and <laughs> they're like, "Sure, you can actually ask for these. We don't, you know, advertise them, but you can ask for them." I was like, "Heck yeah!" <gasps> oh my gosh, that's incredible. It, well, and note on two on the fries because obviously you got to dip something in the in the tub that you have uh the fries are good but literally only for the first five minutes once they're cold not enjoyable i feel like that's with any fry though they just get stale and floppy. Uh, the mcdonald's fry the mcdonald's fry is it stands the test of time it could be like a day later mcdonald's yeah. fry is delicious in my which opinion. that is that good like you know uh-huh. what i mean you're like i don't think this is good that this is still good i think you know that's good I guess it is. you're already eating McDonald's. Like, what? How much do you respect yourself? You know what I mean? Uh, what standard do you have? But honestly, I'll be honest. Chick Fil A's fry, though, the, the like, I haven't found waffle fry I don't like, and 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 they're they're phenomenal. True. I, I, you know, my wife's like, hey, you get ketchup. I'm like, what? They're all gone already. I literally just shoved them into my mouth with no sauce. That's how good they are. Um, that's how I determine whether or not fries are really good. What about you, Paul? Oh, so that- what? oh go go ahead, go. Well, I was gonna say that's what's nice about McDonald's fries because it comes with like the top that's slightly larger than the like that yeah. goes over the front, so they can like wow. just chug them, like literally put it up to your mouth and just chug the rest of those fries. Wow! All the salt. And- yeah. Now you're getting into like the architecture of the <laughs> of the holder Packaging. of the fries and why it's superior. It's important. It's important. Man, what? <laughs> you brought up things I'd never thought about, Gub. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> It's what podcasts are for. Uh, you know what I mean? This is incredible. Uh, Paul, fast food? Yeah, I I feel partial, even though I've only had it a handful of times, actually. Uh, I do love Chick-fil-A, but I feel like my favorite is actually Shake Shack. Um, Another really solid one. Stuff. Yeah, it's like artisan fast food. It's like fast food, but you feel like you could bring your family from the suburbs there. Like, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, like you could have like a. Hey, night. we're going to Shake Shack. We're gonna, hey, get uh, get Timmy and uh, bring your kids, and we're gonna we're gonna Shake Shack. Unfortunately, like, Jimmy. Also, don't forget to drain your uh, your four hundred one k before you go because the burgers are eight and a half dollars. Whoa! <laughs> Forgot about that. The eight and a half dollars. They are ounces. phenomenal. They are phenomenal, and and they they, they have that whole thing right. They have a little thing where like they're like, yeah, we have shakes, but they're one size and they're eight and a half ounces. So if you really, if you really want to shake, you need to order four, and they're also eight dollars. And I speak from, <laughs> I did this once. I got a Shake Shack because the be- the beauty of playing professional baseball, honestly, the best part. This is by far the best part is best being part. downtown okay. of a large city and having a yeah. bunch of delivery places. Like you can get all the delivery apps deliver there, and sh- there's a Shake Shack everywhere. So like I'll get Shake Shack, and I did this in Detroit once. I'm not kidding. I yeah. I ordered a burger. And fries and three milkshakes because three, they're not that big. So, milkshakes. I mean, that turns out to be like forty ounces of shake, so that's a lot. 
I mean, but, go big or go home. But I drank oh them all. You know, got a carbo load. It's the season. Yeah. That's such a cop out. Yeah, I, I don't I felt think that's horrible. how athletics work. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I did it once. No, Shake Shack's a great one. I love it. Shake Shack's. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Weird. I have never been. Highly what? recommend. It makes oh, me sad. There's not a lot I've on seen, West Coast. Yeah. Like, there's one downtown yeah. Seattle now. So if you're oh. ever shopping down there or something, like that's where it is. It's right Go down hop the on and get, yeah. Well, Gub, aren't you in Ohio, if I'm not mistaken? Are you? No. I'm in. Are you in the Midwest? Um, Are you out West? East? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in Seattle. Ohio. You are in Seattle. Oh, Ohio! What the? You just you come off as Ohio. Ohioan. You feel very o- Ohioan. Oh, I didn't know there's a feel for Ohioan, but hey, there's a feel. You, I okay. mean, you know when someone's West Coast. You know when someone's from the bad? South. Ohio is like its own sect. No, kind of. Yeah, it is. I oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's I, okay, Paul. I see how it is. I I see I, how it is. No, you still got a beef. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> No, not at all. Not at all. I'm glad you're from Seattle. That explains a lot of your uh, uh, mountain adventures. Mm-hmm. It does. You're yeah. constantly mountaineering. So yeah, pretty much. That's, lot, that's good. You know who's never uh, going outside? Me. That's who's never going outside. I live here too, and I just <laughs> never going game. anywhere. Can I, uh, can I ask the third question, Trev? Uh, can I tell you what my favorite fast food is place, Paul? First, no, Paul? No one cares, Trev. <sighs> No, I just <laughs> ate it. I just ate it pre, and it's only Northwest. It's called Taco Time. Okay. Oh, it's like, okay, okay. It's like, uh, basically, it's like the Shake Shack, but for Mexican food. This is exactly why I didn't ask you, because you're going to name some sort of obscure nonsense. It's not obscure. Heard. Yeah, sorry, Paul. You're not going to know about it. You're not going to know about it until you come visit. It's really good. Oh, um, but it is Northwest, and it's, and every time, like, literally, I get off the plane when I get done for the season, I go straight there. Yeah. It's the first thing I do every time. What's it called again? Uh, taco time. Taco time. Taco time. Taco time. It's just fresh. Like, Little they make easy. everything in the in, in the store that day. It's just all fresh. Mm-hmm. It's just fresh. It's, but, you know. I'm, t- who am I kidding? If, 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 if it's like, what, what fast food do I want to be available everywhere I am at all times? And this is going to make people cringe and maybe even, you know, gag a little bit. Yeah. But I, I love Taco Bell. I love it. Still do. It's horrible. I feel Taco awful. Bell's good. Yeah, it's good. It, yeah, you feel terrible. Not, not a single person has ever had energy after they were done eating. But I have. Well, except for the caffeine from the 60-ounce <laughs> from Baja Blast. I've had it. But other than that, yeah, incredible. I like tacos a lot. Yeah. Wait, Paul, you may answer the ask the third one now. I'll, I'll let Perfect. you. I can't wait. All right, so taco time, slam. Um, all right, so uh, Gabba, uh, what did you do? I love that this is in caps, by the way. What did you do before? I don't know why that's in caps. You really emphasized it. <laughs> what did you do before streaming? <laughs> right and. Yeah. And follow up, follow up, clarifier. Uh, when did you decide to go full time into it? So before mm-hmm. I started streaming, I was a waitress at Buffalo Wild Wings. Ooh. And I started streaming one weekend after my brother showed me Twitch. And I was okay. like, okay, I'm just going to see how this goes. And I got 100 followers. And I was like, oh, I can apply for partner now. Didn't really know. Um, got denied. <laughs> 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 Wait, what year is this? What 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 time? Uh... 2015. 2015, wow. okay. Sure. So then it was uh, like two months in. It was July. Mm-hmm. And some very generous person in my community tipped me okay. $2,000. And I was like, whoa, this is insane. It was so crazy. I still remember it. And I was like, I am going to, you know, I'm going to try this full time. It kind of, it was a... a snowball of events i was in work one night and it was like just terrible and i ended up kind of just walking out and then go full time so whoa wait okay hold on. uh if you if you care to expound uh mm-hmm. ex- explain this explain this night that you walked out that seems like a story in itself oh okay so i did not like waitressing i would get home every night and i would be like so upset because people can be so mean so oh, sure. so mean and so it was like very emotional draining but i had to do it i needed to like save money go back to college and stuff and uh so i was in there i had like t- mentally prepared myself to go to work that night because i was doing the easy like section of tables and i got in and they're like so and so called in sick 
you're actually going to do her section plus yours. And I was like, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Yeah. So then they filled, my section oh, got okay. filled up. And I'm not even kidding. Every single table was just so rude to me. And so then on my first table, I was going to like cash out. They gave me the cash and I walked over the register and I was like, okay, if I cash out, I can't leave because that would technically be like stealing money. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do that. So I walked back over the table. I was like, someone will be right with you. And then I left and drove, sped out of that parking lot and called my mom. And I was like, I'm going full-time streaming, mom. No way. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. So you just straight up just left. Yeah. You told no one, no manager. You were like, hey. Uh... I was on the way out and the hostess was like, hey, you good? I'm like, yeah. And I just kept walking. Yeah, never see you again. Bye. Don't call me. Bye. Oh my yeah. god. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Those poor uh uh people that you're uh, wait, waiting on. Actually, I, really, I guess not, because they were mean. If you would have gone, if you would have had to serve their tables, you would have been left. You would have left too. You would have been like later. You can serve yourself. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Some say they're still waiting for their buffalo wings. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, so you walk out in, in a flurry and mm -hmm. you decide you're going to go full time streaming. Yep. That night. Uh, that night. With at that point, and at that point, you had, you said, 100 flowers and $2,000. I had nation. more followers by then. So, the, so I got by the then, followers okay. over the weekend in May. And then I had, um, just huge community support during that summer. It was really amazing and awesome. And then uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to try full time. And then I got partnered a month later. Wow. Yeah. It was That's really amazing. cool. Very cool. Did you um, notice that once you went full time streaming, that it, um, let's say, made up for or compensated for the loss that you got from not being a waitress anymore? Like, did you see immediate returns? Was it kind of a slow build? Um, how did, how did it was it work? definitely. It was a slow build because it was mm -hmm. um, building up the community and you guys know how it is, right? Mm -hmm. It can be really difficult. Oh, absolutely. And then learning how to manage your channel in that first year is so difficult. Yeah. So absolutely. it did take a while, but it was so worth it. Best investment I've ever made. I love streaming. That's awesome. That's a really cool story. That, that your story is way more badass than my story. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I walked out. I told those people to suck on their boneless wings. Basically, <laughs> streaming. Suck on those. Later, suck on that garlic parm. Ooh. <laughs> garlic parm, delicious. Garlic parm is delicious. It's yeah, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's amazing. Trevor, good follow up. Go ahead. Uh, what did you do before streaming? What? <laughs> I wonder. Let me just, you know, a lot of people actually, this might surprise a lot of people. Like nobody, uh -huh. Paul, who are, we, who are we kidding? There was, we have, we have a lot of OGs, but before the LaRose last year, like a lot yeah. of people had no idea. Like it was like, oh, Paul, Paul, you just started streaming. And you were been, like, yeah, since 2013, what? <laughs> you know, like, and I've been streaming since like, uh, my partner, I got partnered in July of 2016. So. Um, oh, okay. Wow. So I, I've actually been yeah. partnered for over three years now, which is a lot longer than like there's there's a bunch of people oh, like yeah. uh, for example like Fear itself hasn't been streaming near as long as anyone thinks he has. He's he's been going for just over a year. Um, I thought he's been because he's been a pro gamer for a long time. I thought he'd been streaming, but like just a lot of people I've met are like, yeah, I've been going for two years, which is a long time. But I'm like, wow, I'm actually been going longer. That's crazy. Um, yeah, man, you're an OG. Um, yeah, but yeah, nice. it all started. It started when I got injured. Um, and I usually don't play, I try not to play video games for, for like three or four off seasons. I would just play like a bunch of league in the off Wait, season. You said you got injured, injured doing, injured doing what for what? Like, how Bit, did... like I got injured pitching. My back was hurting me. So um, I went uh, on the, okay. the disabled list for like a month and didn't travel yeah. with the team. So like a couple, I had a couple of weeks where I was just like going home every day at like noon. And I'm like, what do I do? Uh, I'm like, I'm going to play video games again. That's what I'm going to do. Cause I've always keep going back. I grew up my um my best friend and lived two down two houses down from me were like a month apart in age too and his dad was a was a like a, he built racing mac trucks and also loved building computers so like they had like it was like a land center at their house yeah it's weird he just loved building stuff so they had they, they had like a land center at their house and they had fiber internet like 10 years before i heard anyone else having fiber so wow uh yeah he Must took nice. this was this mm -hmm. was no joke so i like i played we played he had a playstation 2 i remember and we and then we had like four or five desktop computers so we played age of empires we played warcraft one two and oh. three 
then Frozen Throne came out. We just all we did was play custom games on on, on Fro- and make our own maps and stuff. Um, and then WoW came out after that, and and we played League too. So those two were became big. The uh, the 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 League group split up. So I played WoW, and then the, my best friend actually started playing League more. And then we just didn't play together as much. Uh, we Sad just sat next part. to each other playing Same. different games. Um, <laughs> and I got way into WoW, so that kind of took over. And then I. I, I played WoW into Pro Ball until I was like, dude, you need to go to sleep instead of raiding. Like, you need to get a pitch tomorrow. Come on, figure it out. Mm. Um, and so to I got hurt. I had time, um, started streaming. I actually found the first streamer that I really, like, I'd seen, like, I'd seen Summit and I'd seen Ly- Lyric and, uh, you know, CSGO. And, like, I, I wasn't really into CSGO, but Overwatch came mm-hmm. out on console. I'd played on console for, like, in a month. I was like, this isn't my, this isn't my... I don't play shooters on console. Come on, we gotta we gotta get a PC made. And then I found Lass and Tim, and and then nice. you know the rest is history. Wow. So um, I just got they're like then I just started googling like how do I make a better system and how to do laptops yeah. better versus how desktops. To stream. How to stream? Yeah, how and, to stream? And then how of course stream. I'm yeah. just like this is how I am, and my wife can attest to it too. I get into something. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. it's just game over. So I think we can, I think we, me and Gubba can both attest yeah. to that. I just sense, got, yeah. but like, like I said, I was a DJ before that, and then I bought a bunch of turntables and music production <laughs> stuff and computer. Like, I did that too. Uh, so this is just, he's like, oh, is this like the DJ thing? I'm like, yep, all over again. But I play video games now, and it's my, and I can say it's my job, and you can't say anything. She's like, wait, what? And then now we're here, we are. Ooh. So that's, uh, now I've, this is my second off season going full time. I, I love it. Um, I'm actually realizing how important it is to have days off. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, very true. That's like today's my absolutely. Uh, this is this is this is very nice. Th- th- I don't have to yell at Call of Duty or like just get killed in Fortnite right now. So like this is yeah. still the day off. This is great. Um, but like having you raging Sundays, is pretty funny though. It is. I, really I've funny. really really steered into that skin in, in COD. I think I've had the most entertaining. I literally just just to plug real quick my new mm. uh, YouTube video. And I'm going to be honest, there's some highlights. They're probably two of the best highlights of Tim and Paul that I've ever in my life. Like, it's the funniest game of Call of Duty I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Noah is Go screaming on. the whole time, and he is 50. He went like 51 and 6, and he's just yelling like he's mad. <laughs> but Tim, Tim got up and walked away from his comp- computer. Upset. Lupo got up and walked away from his computer. And Paul got up and walked away from their computer all in the same game at the same time. <laughs> wow. It was me and Noah talking to each other. I'm like, is anyone left? It's we were getting beat that bad. Hello? Wait. Is anyone um, left? So <laughs> it was it yeah, was but, fun. Yeah. Uh, on that note that kind of Trevor mentioned, uh, I'm actually curious your perspective. Um, you're live right now, right, Kevin? Yep. Live stream now? Cool. Um, and obviously, feel free to go into this as in-depth as you want to or whatever it may be, but uh, Trevor talked about the importance of having days off, right? Like yes. being a content creator for this long, you can you you get out of it essentially what you put into it, but there's a limit, right? You have to give yourself a day off and and all that. Do you mm-hmm. find um, that it is difficult to energize yourself on certain days, certain weeks to stream? Because I mean, to some extent, right? Like we all have our names, except for Trevor. I'm Action Jackson. You're Gubba, and you have to almost kind of embody Gubba the streamer. You have to be that person you know, as opposed to like the guy that oh, sits yeah. and watch Netflix. So do you find that to be taxing? Is that hard to do some days? Um, you know, actually, it's kind of as crazy as this sounds. It's kind of a little bit the opposite. I can be having like a draining day, um, like whether that morning or something or whatever's going on. But then as soon as I like start pumping myself up for stream and like being Gubba TV and getting ready and seeing people like start to type in chat, it gets me really excited. And it oh, wow. kind of is my escape from whatever's going on in my life so then i'm always in the best mood when i'm streaming does that kind of make sense so i definitely need time to recharge as a person and everybody does Mm -hmm. um so my days off are very like sacred to me but Mm -hmm. i still even when i'm on my days off i'm still like doing stuff for a stream but no i feel like such a energy boost when i click that start start streaming and it sounds so cliche but that's truly how it is for me no, that's amazing. I think that's important. I mean, once you you find the thing that you love for work, it like isn't really work. So that's that's really cool. That's great. Yeah. What about you? 
Uh, well, I mean, thank you for <laughs> asking that. I'm really curious. Um, well, I just, I hate it. Every time I had to go live, I hate it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> personally, uh, as soon as someone talks, I tell them to get out. No, totally um, ban them. I mean, immediately ban them. No, um, I think that, uh, like you and Trevor said, uh, having days off is super important. Um, I find it uh, a balance. So... Uh, Trevor may be able to relate to this, but to a certain extent, when you are, I mean, when you're in a relationship or whether it's, you know, dating someone or, or married or whatever it may be, you have to schedule your time correctly so that you maintain that relationship. Um, so finding that I'm maintaining a relationship with my wife or with friends uh, and then also streaming, uh, I found it's, I still have a master. It is hard to balance all those things after almost six years of streaming. It's kind of hard to balance relationships with maybe not working too much, right? Because you can be out at you know your favorite fast food restaurant shake shack with your friends or family <laughs> and you're like on twitter right like looking to make content or you're making an instagram video or something um so balance has been something that i've worked on uh i do get a lot of enjoyment obviously of the hype of chat chat can be very influential i found to me in my mood um so whether chat is engaging so or true. not or if they are negative or not even honestly it's even wild how one negative comment will just completely shape the rest of the stream and you have to like fight against that uh at least for me i can only speak from my point of view but the, i'm yeah because uh, it kind of like stays in your mind and you're just like Ugh. you think about like i thought about it like, like i thought that. about one comment someone said to me like three weeks ago they're like <laughs> Paul, you should really, you should really trim up the back of your head that your hair is getting a little long. And I don't know why, but that just like got me for the rest of the week. I was like, I need a haircut. I can't. They were just, they're just noticing crazy? everything about me. Yeah. yeah. It's true. And even off stream, you're thinking about it. I've had that too, where it's just like, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That, I, remember, I actually remember seeing a video. I think you posted, Gub, of like uh, about a, uh, a makeup like tutorial almost like video wow. and you were like yeah you guys will never see me without makeup and it was almost kind of like i get it yeah like, you just don't want to deal with yeah. whatever with even trolls. if people yeah. could say like uh you're beautiful all day but you're gonna see the one where mm -hmm. guys like you should really put some eyeshadow on or something like oh i get that it. all the time yeah and you just gotta like try to like move on from it but there are some of those comments like you're saying with the hair for you that will just like stick out and you're just like oh why does that bug me so much? And you don't know why it bugs you. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Sorry. you're, you're human big is a big reason. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy. Cause I, I can think of a couple like the last, uh, so my last two streams I've had derailing comments and that's one thing that I was mm -hmm. actually going to, uh, kind of ad lib a little bit. I'm glad we actually got there before I did, um, that, <laughs> that I noticed about that, Whenever I'm in your stream, Gubba, like even, I'm reading, I'm reading everything in the chat, and you're obviously not reading every single thing, but it might be in your just chatting part, or um, you know, uh, you know, whatever you call it, uh, uh, when you're just talking to chat and you're just reading chat, and there's some stuff that you're just you just ignore, just straight up ignore it. I'm like, I would not yep. be able yeah. to ignore, and yeah. of course, you know, and 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 you, and not only that, it's very graceful, and and you're always so gracious to everybody and you all Aww. you always point out the great the, the the nicest thing and you did this was yesterday when uh, i when i resubbed yesterday and you you said something man wow i really like it when like people pop into chat and they see other people in chat that they're excited to see and you see them start talking to each other mm. like that is awesome and they say hi to each other and i have that too i have those i have that that core group that is all pumped to see each other and they razz each other in the chat Unfortunately, sometimes when I'm playing a game and I look over and they're all talking to each other and literally no one's talking to me and I'm like, I can't keep up with your conversations. <laughs> uh, that, that gets a little happens. bit disorienting at times, but um, it, is, it is really nice. But I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever caught you getting mm -hmm. in a spot where you're like, come on, man. Like even, even to like, let's, let's not do that. You're just like, a, okay. And then you just in the most, because you know they want attention in the most like unsatisfying yeah. for them way. They're just like, oh. That wasn't even she, she wasn't even mad at me. She barely even she acknowledged it, but like barely. And that's even worse than her missing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But on on the flip side, yesterday, so two days ago, I had a guy say, "Hey, I could hit your slider." Like in like so base 
making fun of me at video games is one thing, and then when you start to bring baseball, you in, mentioned in, this in, earlier. Oh if I get God. if I get a little oh cocky gosh. here, I you am imagine. you know top oh oh one percent in the world at something. Uh, so I'm going to get a little bit defensive about that. And it was a kid and he was like in call a college kid. Right. And it, I was like, no, you couldn't. Like I was basically, nah, you actually, no, you couldn't, you, no. you couldn't touch anything. I throw at you. Sorry. Um, and he was just like, oh yeah, I can. I'm six, four. That's what he said. He said that, and I oh. I caught on at him saying how tall he is. I'm like, I'm like, wow, you're not even as tall as me. And we actually got in an argument, and then he got actually really, really mad to where he got had to get be banned because he wouldn't give it like, like Yikes. give it. But I but I was oh mad back, and I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. He it's fine if he does and just ban and move on. And then yesterday we had a kid, a young, young, very young. Now that I know, now that I've seen him on other social medias, which he DM me on everything, right? Um. He's like 10. He might be 10 years, maybe 12, 12, um, legitimately. And he was just saying, hor- like, every horrible thing you can think of, horrible racial slurs, everything, just to get people wow. to pay attention to him. So we banned him very quickly. And then he started DMing. So he made three, four, four different accounts just to get back in the chat, wait 10 minutes, just to say the same oh, thing, wow. and then get banned again. That's but then he was pathetic. DMing people he saw talking in chat. <laughs> and then he, he DMed me on those. everything. Now, that's just ridiculous. But. And of course, that's that's next level. That doesn't even happen. But I'm just like, how do you gracefully handle this kind of st- like how? What's the best way to do it? So I was basically just telling everyone in chat, I'm like, hey, everyone, we're gonna preemptively just ban him. Everyone, not ban him. We banned him. Block him from your. If he talks to you, just block him. And I got uh, some. Yeah. I had some other younger people in the chat who like didn't really. Under- they don't want to block people. It's kind of so. Instead, they just decided to say everything that he was saying in chat which is exactly oh, what he wanted so and i'm like yeah. how is a 12 year old derailing my chat right now and how am i letting it happen so those days and if you don't have like if you're not like if you're not feeling rested if you're just like oh my god i don't want to deal with this it's just emote only yeah oh we oh i never use that hey we're doing that <laughs> uh-huh, you, uh you emote only i've literally never worked yeah. uh, that that used to scare me too but then again back when I had, you know, 25, 30 viewers, 40 viewers every day, me and only would just kill it completely, right? But now, like, sure, it, yeah, people yeah. will just start it's spamming totally it. Different. Probably you'll get more stuff, so. Well, um, but, yeah, yeah. but how do you, in like, in that same kind of area that Trevor's uh, talking about, how do you deal with those people? Like, he's talking about you ignoring them, mm-hmm. but, like, what goes through your Yeah, I'm actually mind? curious because well, I've literally never seen you be flustrated. Fl- flustrated. This is- this is exactly what goes through my mind. I'm like, okay, this person wants a reaction out of me. If they get a reaction out of me, they win. And I'm not going to lose. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't let them win. <laughs> That's exactly what goes through my head. I actually had somebody do that to me, Trevor. But it was like, they were like, Gubba, you need to shower. And they just went stop, so I banned them. And then they made like 10 accounts. Gubba, you need to shower. And I was just like, so similar, not as atrocious, but it's just like, why are you so annoying? But I just keep banning. I don't ignore, or I don't, I do ignore because I'm just like, you're not going to win. This is my day. This is my town. <laughs> you're not winning. I like that. That is a, <laughs> so that's try an effective think about way. Like that. Do not yeah. let them win, especially if you're competitive like me. Mm. Well, never thought of it no like problem that. there. <laughs> yeah. Give in. It's, <laughs> but I think for the most part, I think for the most part, it's we way. all do a pretty good job. Um, um, and just, I just really quickly before we move on to that, cause we've been here for a while. Uh, mm-hmm. like the coolest thing, I think the reason I really like, and I'm gonna get mushy here, really like playing games and hang out with you two is because this specific, oh what we're doing right now, like you guys talking to your communities, I can tell how much, how much you really, really enjoy it and having your community. And that's important to me. So like, like I, we always we we're starting to joke with I'm we my channel my my chat is starting to joke when we're playing games because I'll get into games mm-hmm. in 25 minutes and Paul's been just chatting for an hour and a half and <laughs> we're still waiting for him to come in but you legitimately like you're like dude sometimes I just want to chat forever get a bunch right? of videos yeah. play yeah. marbles and then play the the yeah. game that's actually gonna make me mad so absolutely and I. I I'm coming to like I really enjoy that too. And during the season, sometimes I do like a 90 minute stream where I'm just like, ask me anything. I'm open. And I just f- let people fire stuff in chat, and I'm just like answering every answering every baseball question there is. In reality, it's just five questions repeated over and over and over again. But <laughs> yeah. it is it is I enjoy doing that. And I know you guys enjoy it. So um, I thought we would do this. It's great. Um, 100%. But moving yeah, on. This is awesome. But moving on, we are content creators, um, and. Uh, this got me thinking. Mm-hmm. I have recently just moved to try to start doing some TikTok stuff, but I wanted to ask you guys: What is your Yikes. favorite 
social media platform to to use like everyone's got their one some people it's facebook some people it's you know twitter or, or instagram or wh which one do you find yourself you know on most of the time or at least thinking about ways that you can create stuff for it it can mm -hmm. be youtube even i don't know uh but gubba how, what are you what, what's your what's your go-to I feel like Twitter. I'm on Twitter the most, and I'm, I'm, I'm always. I'm so sorry right. to interrupt. Can you yeah. just say it one more time? Oh yeah, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> just good. Just one. Just once again. Uh, tw Twitter. Twitter. Are you doing? Is there a ch there? Uh, the Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, there is. Uh, so we can hear the T and just... the W very clearly. Wait, how do you say it? Twitter. 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 Yeah, yeah like, Twitter. Twitter. Like it's spelled. Twitter. You know? That's what I was saying. You're saying Twitter. Like you're Twitter. like C H T W I T T E R. <laughs> is there a problem? No, do you want to fight? I would never <laughs> fight. I would never. I would lose. I'm not as competitive. I would lose. Uh, yeah. Please continue. I'm so sorry. Uh, to be real. <laughs> okay. I, I'm mostly on Twitter uh still there go on <laughs> okay yep doing my trying to figure out like i guess just on there like replying to people being active but i, don't, I would even say it's my favorite social media i don't think i have a favorite i like mm. creating content for youtube so that'd be my favorite maybe but i feel like they're all kind of toxic <laughs> yeah really? I mean, yeah. Why do you, you yeah. Can get, you can go too far and and you feel that they're toxic though yeah, well, mean? have you ever been on Twitter for a really long time and it's just like yeah. kind of just brings you down? Yeah, not even necessarily at anybody. you, right? There's just like you're yeah. noticing that every tweet is about something yeah. kind of negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it, okay. really, it really starts to weigh on you. Yeah, it does. Makes sense. You can go okay. down some, some rabbit holes for sure. Some rabbit holes. What do you Fair think? Enough. What do you think, Paul? Um, we got favorite social? Yeah. Um, my personal favorite, I feel like I find myself on the most is Instagram um i just enjoy i don't know i like i like the creativeness that's behind instagram twitter is is interesting but there's not a whole lot of room for creativity um yeah. at least as far as like uh visually right so i mean there's yeah far more picture posts on instagram so for instance like i feel like honestly i know the most about gubba and also about you trevor through instagram like i see your instagram stories and your posts uh i see that gubba is like outside every day i'm not sure how but it's like i'm not sure if you're like posting things from five years ago but it's like i mean sometimes always doing something <laughs> um but like i know that stuff through those so i feel like stories are a really good medium like a picture is worth a thousand words right so if i see one photo of what you're doing that tells me way more about you in those five seconds i see it than than anything else so my personal favorite is instagram sure. so so it is pretty good. yeah i've i've realized how much now that the screen time is a thing on your phone like how much i'm on both twitter and instagram oh yeah um i'm just it's i'm bad. i'm an i'm an acolyte Very. of a guy named uh and i don't know if you guys have heard, if you guys have heard of him jiminy christmas um his <laughs> name's gary v gary vaynerchuk have you heard that name oh wait, is he like the motivational guy right he, he's kind of yeah kind of he's like a uh he a business owner he's one of the original youtubers like in 06 like wow. he made a wine. Okay. He, he his he's he's from uh oh oh no Eastern European country. Um, take your time. Take Minsk your time. is there. Oh my goodness, what is the? I can't remember yeah, the yeah. country. Um, cool. Just um, a huge audience that we can't. Okay. Anyway, he 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 built a wine business and then and now he's become a you know multimillionaire. Runs a marketing company in New York City. Um, mm -hmm. and but he just he talks a lot about like how you'd be motivated to be a content that you have to be a content creator in everything you do. Like if you own a small business, you got to be a content creator. You got to create content. Like that's the world we live in. Um, and so he but he's made it very clear. He's like, Twitter is very 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 important for engagement. You should be engaging with everybody. On YouTube, when you make stuff, you should be literally answering every comment, no matter what it says. And yeah. uh, Instagram, same way. You, but but Twitter is definitely built for engagement, and uh, uh, Instagram is definitely more for you being creative and like you have something creative yeah. to, to put up there. So like you kind of tend to post more less to that, but you engage more on Twitter. So I engage way more on Twitter. I think that over my my life, Twitter has become more of like I can say weird stuff that pops in my head. But hmm. that said. And this is why I really want to talk about this. I have been tr trawling TikTok like crazy. 
And now I don't know if you guys. Yeah, just like scrolling through it, I guess. I, I, that was a word I tried mm-hmm. to work into the old podcast. Didn't really work. Um, okay, boomer. And mm-hmm. this is a very, this is a very specific. Uh, uh, th- today it's weird because a Sivers posted one yesterday that went viral. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you Love saw that. Sivers. Whoa, she went viral. Yeah, she had one that has like had like four hundred and fifty or four hundred or five hundred thousand views in one day. Wow. The one of her dogs with the. Uh, she posted a Twitter too, and I laughed my ass off. Um, I've not seen this. That sounds amazing. But she she had a viral one, so I was like, I was like, I'm really because I don't know TikTok's like it's got these memes, but like it's like do this meme in your own way. Like I love that, so everyone can just do it in more. Uh, there's there's songs that are becoming memes, and then you can create the meme around the song, like the one Have where you people created a meme yet. Oh, sorry. See, that's the thing. So th- so so what I'm trying to do is figure out how to do that. Like there's one, you know. Have you guys seen any of the videos of the people like? <laughs> It's like uh, it's that Hall and Oates song, I'm and it's like watching Sivers right now. It's so good. It is great. Yeah, it's great. You should check it out if you haven't seen. It. Uh, Sivers did one today, but she did one yesterday. She has that corgi too, so it's like, come on, it's oh like a God. layup. Um, but she, but basically, like the one where uh, um, people are like slowly, they're like wearing an outfit and they're like slowly getting into a position. You don't know what's happening, but the song's kind of building, and then it gets mm-hmm. the. It gets to the like the apex of the song, and then it then it flashes, then it goes to the picture they're supposed to be, and it's hilarious. It's like a guy did that, you know, the the guy mm. in the cat suit, when the all white cat suit with his hands in the air. Remember that, you know, that picture? It's all over the internet. I use the meme all the time. Oh, it's like my favorite. Suit. Oh, it's like he's just like thing. he's just got his hands. I know I'm it's showing like a, you. It's like a, it's horrifying. It's, it's like a little. A, hu- uh, it's, he's, he's got like a cat face, and he's just like what. It's more of like a what the hell are you talking about type of gif. Like that's what you do if people are it's making like he's sense. stuffed. Yeah, he looks like he's stuffed, or, but it's obviously a guy a in a suit. So a guy did that one. He was like in he was on a white sweatshirt, white pants, white, white hood up, and he put the hood up and he like sat on a box and then he just put his hands up at the end and then it flashed and it was the, the picture. Where are you supposed to be? So so I would highly recommend so so I'm trying to get on TikTok. Um, but Gary Vee is saying a lot right now. He's like, Hey, don't sleep on TikTok. That's where everybody is. Just just go there and start making stuff. Like who cares if it's good or not? Just put stuff up there. So um hmm. so i like i did one today with with three three tips for baseball pitchers i was like here's three tips that you may not have known about for baseball yeah. and i like just said three things that go? most people wouldn't know i mean it's got yeah. like 200 or 300 it's not going to go viral because it's about it's very specific it's about baseball but it slowly over time if i make it a series i think that true people who I think that care about baseball will start to find it um but that's like my expertise so i'm like i know more about I, that than a lot of other people series? I why think double would be great. I think he'd be awesome. At I think double would be great. That's why I'm asking. So uh, I just, what I would recommend is tonight, go on your phone, download it if you don't have it, make an account, and literally just scroll. Do it, Gubba. And I'm going to be honest. One of every three are cringy. One of every three is like a 13-year-old that's singing like an Ariana Grande song, and you're just like, all right. Oh, next. sure. <laughs> next. So that is half the content. Anywhere, yeah. um, well, but, um. I guess I kind of have an announcement. Oh. Oh, what? Whoa. I have a TikTok announcement now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. She has a TikTok. I have one, and I've been making making TikToks, but I haven't told anybody. What? what? No way. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so uh, you can go check out all my cringy TikToks. Yes. Oh, I'm downloading the app right now. Oh, yeah. hey, Paul, I, I, you know, I'm a 30 year old man that just started doing TikToks. Who cares? You should do it. Ninja was talking about it the other day. He's like, bro, <laughs> bro, you should just what? make them because they're, they're funny. So, so I literally, I sat down today and I, I, I opened up my Google Docs and I, I've been writing down ideas. Oh I, I got some, I got some real good ones. There's some like really old memes that I love from like 2013 where you can do the little like, you're like, wait, 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 putting on the clothes what? and turning into the picture. I'm gonna do those. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I like that. Wait, uh, uh, Gubs, what are you, what are you making TikToks of? Well, I've started last Thursday on Halloween, and I've already made twelve TikToks. Twelve. And, uh, there hasn't 12 been that many days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, and uh, kind of, kind of doing, doing it all. See where it goes. You know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm thinking Dude, Gubs we got, a, we got an good. announcement on our, our first podcast. We did. This yeah. is huge. This thing's going to blow up. This is nuts. <laughs> All right. Very cool. 
I'm super I'm all. super excited just to watch all 12 of them back to back to back to back to back to back later. Um Thank you. I'm very excited. It's going to be awesome. Um but uh really quickly, I think we know the answer to this one, but um mm-hmm. a lot of times favorite game to play is not the same game same game that doesn't line up exactly with creating content. So, mm-hmm. um like for example, like I'm loving TFT, but of course people like <laughs> sometimes. So, <laughs> Yeah. So you got to play Call of Duty, right? Um, so I'll, I guess I'll go first. Uh, my favorite game to play right now is actually not Call of Duty. <laughs> it is uh, uh, Team Fight Tactics, even though they literally just changed the whole game, which is... They I did. I don't know if you logged in yet, Paul, but I'm like, what, what does any of this mean? Right. <laughs> it's There's like elements. There's It's like airbenders involved now. They like change uh, every mechanic. That, but... Anyway, that's my favorite that game at the cool. moment. Uh, but creating content is definitely Call of Duty. Um, definitely definitely call of duty just because it's hilarious at the moment oh it's perfect okay um i mean we're almost in an hour so i thought i'd just like no 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 that's good that's good no what's yours wow uh i'm like sitting here thinking i'm like i don't know if i have like a favorite game right now i'm really looking forward to pokemon coming out because i really like pokemon i mean i've been playing it on fortnite but it's definitely not my favorite game yeah really (laughs) yeah <laughs> there was shame involved. I mean, we're all we're all there. Like, you know, it's, she said it. We're all everyone. Everyone in chat was like nodding. They're like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, honest, we know." That's great. Because <laughs> honestly, I've gone to your channel, and and uh, you know, I'm watching you play, and you're always playing with uh, use code Gubba. I feel like it yep. changes the name all the time. Yep. Um, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, there is no way she enjoys this game that much there is just like there's just a limit to no disrespect to epic or Fortnite, great game but like you love the game that much yeah if you're not a professional player refreshing to hear you know if you're not a professional player that's actually like getting ready for tournaments like it's hard to play as much as i think even the professional players are probably bashing their heads on desks when nobody's looking oh for sure yeah okay so what's your uh, then? That's your favorite content game, I would imagine, because you play it often, right? Yes. Is that correct? So yeah. then, what's your? You said Pokemon, right? Oh, now? Well, I'm looking forward to Pokemon coming out in like uh, a week and a half ish. But right now, mm. I don't really have like a favorite. Kind of, it's kind of depressing. Yeah, I'm mm. saying I don't really have a favorite at the moment. It's a little sad. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, um it happens. A note on that, really quick, the Pokemon thing. Uh, Trevor, please shut up. Um. <laughs> my favorite i think my favorite clip i think got a i would say almost period at least top five is you fainting of a, oh. is you, what, what was it what were you trying to catch it was a, a gold shiny, it was a gold drowsy. shiny no, drowsy dude shiny drowsy. Drowsy. and she choked it, harder than i've ever I, seen anyone choke in my life <laughs> just yeah. could not i could it not over, do it and well, over hunting for this like shiny drowsy the like weird you know who wants a drowsy let's be real but yeah. i like got hooked i'm like okay i'm five hours in and then i was like okay well i'm five hours in might as well go okay i'm 15 hours in then it ended up being like 40 plus hours i'm like i'm getting this drowsy and then oh, showed man. up and i was so excited that uh well you know <laughs> you know the rest i've never seen someone choke so hard in my life to throw a pokemon ball that was- yeah it was nerve-wracking and it was it was like a drowsy it wasn't even that difficult oh gosh it's, god it's got to be one of my favorite clips thank you for sharing that yeah, um you're welcome that went that went viral though definitely did oh that was a viral yeah video. it was did. pretty fun <laughs> it does. um well i will i will uh answer my favorite game to play is probably uh right now actually a mix between tft and, and wow i've gotten back into wow recently Retail, like retail, right? Wow, though. Yeah, me retail. Too. Actually, I actually logged wow, in the other day. Yeah, uh, classic is just me banging my head against the wall for half an hour to find like one boar skin. So I'm just gonna <laughs> over it right now. Um, but yeah, favorite game is uh, either TFT or retail. TFT is just it's got to be the most team fight tactics, the most chill game uh, in existence. I just don't rage. Like I would even rage with Hearthstone. I'd get so upset with that game. Uh, but this one is just, eh, it's just nice. It's just nice. Did you see they released a mode in Hearthstone that's literally just TFT, but Hearthstone? No freaking way. It's called Battlegrounds. It looks really cool. I'm probably going to play it. That's what, I have beta access. That's what that is? Yeah, that's what it is. 
Or they like they like I'm playing that tonight. They like change the mechanics. So like your cards just attack each other on it automatically, but you try to make the best board you can. That's amazing. And you play against eight people. Yeah, it's really. I mean, it's really cool. Um, I might never play, played, but that sounds amazing. Yeah. It, oh, it is fun. Like TFT is really TFT is really highly fun. recommend. It's just mm-hmm. fun to mess around and figure out how things work, and it does just winning or losing oh, yeah. doesn't really matter. And not only that, like you kind of win when you're top four. Like there's no like yeah. you have to win the whole thing. You're like, oh, I took the second. That was a good game. Exactly. Yeah. And you um, take eighth, but, and you're just furious. But other than that, it's great. Beyond TFT, though, uh, favorite content game actually that I've ever done in the history in all my six years. Favorite content game was actually. Sea of Thieves. I had a great time. That yeah. was so much fun. Playing that, that, that with you guys. So much fun. That was like some of my favorite content ever. And I was real sad when it just was bad. I don't know. Yeah, me too. I'm still happened. sad about it. Yeah. Like, well, I think about it every now and then. Like, man, Sea of Thieves was so fun. There's updates and there's harpoons now. And like the mask breaks and you have to break, fix the mask now. I, uh, there's uh, new stuff. So maybe it's worth hopping in again. Um, <laughs> and just hopefully Summit doesn't find us. Like that's... I mean, we we did a pretty good job the first time. He never we found did us. Really good. So we did. We um, did. Well, actually, oh, yeah. Gathalion could fi- find us too, um, and 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 ruin our day. But other than that, like it's pretty sure. pretty nah. hang- pretty hanging out. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, Not Gerb. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So no. so awesome. So I had another uh, uh, a current event discussion that we could we, that I was going to have us get into. Unfortunately, um, I have double booked two weeks in a row and had to push the podcast back. So this actually isn't relevant anymore. <laughs> Yay. So uh, it was just going to be about Fortnite chapter two. I think that we're, it was a cool thing and I think yeah, we get it. I think the, I think the TikTok thing up. was, was our current event thing. I think that that, I think that that works. I'm not, yeah. I don't really care about Fortnite chapter two at this moment. I actually haven't played in like a week, but I'm probably going to play again soon. I don't know. Um, yep, so let's grudgingly. So let's just yep, let's yep. pop over to to yep. <laughs> let's pop over to uh, to our to our uh, to my favorite segment before we've even done it. I'm super excited for this. Um, okay. And so, as a lot of you may know, and Gubba very very well knows that uh, mm-hmm. Paul and I mm-hmm. have been accused of having very similar voices. Correct. Yes. Correct. Correct. You've heard that before, Gubba. Yes. Yeah. They were talking you, about in chat today. Actually. Have you, have you thought about it before? Um, you know, maybe at first, but I've played with you. Well, at least back when we played Sea of Thieves, I could tell you guys apart. But now I'm like, man, we haven't played in so long. Yeah. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe this will work. So, uh, this is called Guess Who's Talking, and okay, uh, look. we have five. We have five. Uh, Good call. It's a good point. Yeah, don't look. Uh, yeah, don't look. <laughs> we have five <laughs> phrases, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to yell slash say them in our quintessential ways so that that'll help but um then you have to yeah. guess who who just did it now okay. we have been talking for like an hour so you might have gotten that ear back but um hopefully not uh so without further ado both paul and i have them here in front of us mm-hmm. what we need mm-hmm. to say and who needs to say them so we're just going to kind of go quiet and then uh and then the, whose turn it is the person's going to do it and then Gubba has to guess who it is all right all right perfect Sounds all right good. are you ready Yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh, we need we That's we need more. Trevor. No, no, no. We're not doing it yet. All right, here we go. Not yet. Okay. All right. Oh come on, Trevor. True. She did it. That's it. Round of applause. Done. Who had the round of applause round thing? It's not applause, me. Please. I'm good. There we go. If it's Gabba doing it for herself, that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, now this one's a tough one. I'm gonna have to. Can I call a friend? Can I ask the audience? Uh, oh, wait, okay, okay, uh, Paul! Correct. That's the done. That's the done. Thanks. Two that for two. Wow. <sighs> We've been talking too long. All right. All right, ready for a third one? Ready. Okay, this one's tough because okay, I'm picturing Paul screaming, but I also know that Trevor rages so much. Um, I uh, okay, can I get a repeat on that? No, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Paul, gosh darn it, yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, that was pretty good. 
No Paul, that way. was good though, man. That was really good. Oh, I tried so hard. I. <sighs> All right, she's three for three. We got it. We got to trick her once. Right, we got to mess up. All right, here we go. All right, ready for the third one? Ready. This burger is delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm okay. I've been, I'm like two have been Paul, one have been Trevor. So it makes sense that this would be Trevor, but I'm going to say Paul. She's unstoppable. She's unstoppable. Are you serious? She's unstoppable. She's literally insane. No, she's the best. Oh my God. All right, let's see if we can get her on five. All right. This game is so <laughs> trash. Oh, that's Trevor. That's Trevor. That's not even any that question. That was so easy. Oh, yeah, that was easy. Question. That's Trevor. <laughs> that was not even a question. I just messed up what? the beeps, dude. You tricked me with that one. Sorry. sorry. Oh, it's not even a. This oh, f- game is so <laughs> trash. <laughs> That was a good try. Try that. Was that was a good gosh. try. That was hilarious. Oh, five gosh, for five. Who would have thunk it? Done. Hopefully, we'll Gub get someone again. that doesn't notice as well. Jeez. I'm Incredible. just a genius. We need to. I need Incredible. to work harder on that game. That's really all that means. Job, <laughs> that's all. Uh, that's all that. That's all that means. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're winding down here. I have one last question. Um, mm-hmm. there's kind of a little bit of a. Um, like I said, the spirit of the podcast really was yeah. uh, is us for de- for us to get to know a uh, special guest, mm-hmm. but also kind of uh, uh, talk about other people in the community that we like as well. Um, I think that's mm-hmm. a really really cool um, opportunity for us, um, and then maybe give us some opportunities to you know get some other people that maybe we've never played games with. Um, yeah. But uh, but right, currently right now, and and I I don't know if you guys are like me, but I pretty much. Even on days off, I'm, I'm sitting at my computer getting other stuff done a lot of times, and I have a stream on on the side. Um, mm-hmm. Outside of the people here right now who are, you know, what, what's a couple, like, one, two, three content creators that um, they can be huge, huge content creators that you're, like, watching right now because of the game they're playing, or they could be somebody maybe people ha- don't know as well. Um, but who are your favorites right now to watch or that you, that you think are doing really cool things? Sure. Um, I'll go, and then go with That's That's all right. Um, I feel yeah, like my favorite uh, content creator right now. Uh, that's a little difficult because I, I do watch a couple. Um, probably Wolves at My Door. Um, he's a really chill uh, content creator, buddy of mine, and his content is always really just more relaxing. Um, he gets a little hype every now and then, but it's kind of just he plays like Binding of Isaac and kind of like any random game he can he can think of and enjoys. And it's usually pretty non-mainstream uh, and relaxing. So, uh, Wolves at My Door is actually a really good content creator. Very cool. Yeah, Thanks. and he is really cool merch too, right? I've seen the merch. The merch he's really literally, cool. I'm wearing it right now. I'm I'm actually wearing I'm not unintentionally I feel wearing. Like I've right seen now. the merch. His yeah. merch is nuts. It's really it's yeah. really okay. cool. Like streetwear. It's some like, of the best. Yeah, he's really good merch. Absolutely. Gabba, what do you think? Um, well, whenever I'm like in my computer doing something, I'll usually pop on Dr. Disrespect in the background. Really? Yes. I did not see that coming. I, I, I wasn't expecting it. I'm not that surprised, but I wasn't expecting it. Oh, that's wow. Yeah. He's one of my favorites. He's just so funny. I've watched him for actually a few years. Um, I mean, I've heard like a long time. So I like his content. He's really funny. Have on the background. I like the shenanigans that he does. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's it's got time. you've probably got a lot oh of gosh, inspiration yeah. from him right uh, i think everyone has me oh 100 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 100 absolutely <laughs> yeah. I, you, you guys are are very similar i mean he uh, dr Speck has some of the best production value in the stream i've seen uh i really appreciate it. i mean he i mean he has like a green screen for everything his his graphics are always on point did you see gubba the whole thing he did with like the the code over oh like yeah, I see everything. Months and it was uh, unbelievable. So yeah, uh, actually, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised at the same time. Very cool. Very interesting, Gabba. Yeah, yeah. Doc, Doc's always a go-to, especially like when I'm playing games that he also plays. So like when I was really into PUBG, I watched a mm-hmm. lot of Doc, um, a lot of Break. Do you know who Break is? Um, he he was break. a pro player for TSM. No. He's a he's an English guy. 
um I've just heard. super super yeah. chill and he's really good at the game but he was just like he was just just was like if you wanted to learn how to play and just a super cool kind of funny guy um i yeah. really really and i just he was playing cod the other day and i was like oh Brick's playing cod so i went and hung out in his um for but for the most part like in the evening um i don't for for whatever reason mercs has been on the side for a while mm. because he's been playing the pro pro scrims and that's just really interesting to me i don't know i'm just interested in the pro scene of fortnite so i was just like i like watching how the whole thing works and watching how like they're trying to learn how to play with play together as a group and i don't know that's just me that's the stuff i'm interested in um and then I love mercs and then another bigger guy when when i i'm looking for games i want to try co carnage hands down like mm. the dude is playing something different every two days he is, he is fully invested in it his overlay is like tailored to the game no matter how obscure it is um he breaks down everything he does the podcast with uh it's me j it's or with jp jp and they do the uh mm -hmm. drop frames podcast where they talk about new games so like when it comes to like gaming community and wanting to know what's coming up and what i can try and what i could do and this and and just like getting ideas for how to run your your stream kind of like a business co carnage is like yeah. i think he's hands down the most organized guy on this platform 100 percent um and he's just a really genuine guy and again he's another guy who just does not get bothered by chat like that you cannot face him and which is incredible because he's got 15,000 people watching um yeah. Exactly. But, yeah. yeah but i'm trying to think of a, a, a of a maybe someone who's a little bit smaller that that uh that i pop in on every once in a while um uh that's my doorbell that's great great timing um <laughs> um fear itself i i, I want to really go out and say fear fears fear is i love it. he he's, he's awesome. never he's awesome great guy but he's also he's also really starting to step up the like try try new stuff with the green screen and stuff too um, I bet you he's yeah. a little bit of a Dr. He's hilarious. acolyte too. Oh yeah, he but, is really funny. But he is really funny, and uh, he just signed with the uh, yeah with the uh, Evil Geniuses and moved yeah, out of yeah, Seattle. Geniuses. So yeah. um, that's pretty cool too. And uh, congratulations to him. But yeah, he's another guy I always have on the side one because he. I actually watch Fear too. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these guys are like Tim and Doc. like they do night streams too. So like that's when I'm yeah, sitting and playing like night. TFT. So I can I can check him out. A lot, a lot exactly. of a lot of other people are like in the morning same time as me so um mm -hmm. awesome so that was really really nice clear <laughs> concise to the point uh what a phenomenal podcast uh what uh this last thing i want to do before we for before i let you guys move on with your lives is uh uh gaba uh, i would love to give you an opportunity first um i would love to we would love to know what's next for the stream like what maybe events you have coming up what's going on right now mm -hmm. i know that you're gifting you're gifting you're matching subs so that's a thing you could talk yeah, about matching all gifted subs yeah. and then also wow. take the opportunity to literally plug every all your social medias and everything as well because where where can we find gubba tv well you can find gubba tv at twitch.tv forward slash gubba tv first and then as my announcement today i'm making tiktoks gubba tv yeah Ooh. i'm matching all gifted subs this month because it's my birthday month and we really want to hit ten thousand subs we're gonna get there and then um i have a vlog youtube channel and a gaming youtube channel both gubba tv all social media gubba tv yeah that's awesome um and I when like is that. is there gonna be a big stream on the birthday yes so Ooh. I haven't planned out the exact details, but I believe November 20th, we're going to be having the big birthday bash. And it's going to be crazy. I always, I always get a birthday the whole month in November. I'm so it's sorry. The birth month. I didn't mean so to offend. It, it's yep. okay. A lot of people mm -hmm. get that mixed up. It's a whole birth month celebration, but then we celebrate the specific day. Okay, so of course. November 20th. And then it's going to be crazy. I always get a venue for the stream. We have a lot of stuff going on. I wear a hat most of the time. Whoa. We got a little party hat. Wow. We got a little party, you know, little horns and stuff. You, you, you rent out a venue? Sure do. Wow. What? We got Chuck E. Cheese wow. for the partner anniversary back in May. <laughs> no way. That's wild. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. The content. I, I can't even keep I up with that kind of content. Yeah. No what? No one can. It's okay. Though. That's, I'm so <laughs> excited to check out these TikToks. I cannot explain I'm it really enough. Excited about your TikTok. I can't wait to see hey, the TikToks. Thank you. Um, I'm kind uh, of embarrassed. It's scared. They're a little cringy, but I mean that's TikTok. That's so. the point. That's yeah. the point. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna like it no matter what. Um, Paul, you plug yours. Go. Oh, of course. 
Uh, yeah, I'm Action Jackson. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Action Jackson. That's A-C-T-I-O-N-J-A-X-O-N. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, Action Jackson, spelled the same way, with a BTW at the end, because some jerk has my name. Uh, uh. So Action Jackson, BTW, and Twitter and Instagram. Uh, YouTube.com slash Action Jackson, where you can also find uh, the podcast as well. Yes, you can. You can find, uh, you'll be able to find, we're going to repost the VOD. Um, I think we're going to put together a nice little package and and get like everyone's uh, uh, camera, at least, onto an overlay and then just put the did you audio guys, on top of it. Did you see my scene? Yes, I yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, no, wait, no. Paul, you should go look at it while I plug. Oh, um, my gosh, yeah, go. Uh, so I, I am Trevor May on Twitter and uh, YouTube.com slash I am Trevor May as well. Um, on Instagram, I'm Trevor May 65 because I'm scared of losing my blue check. So I'm trying to go through back channels. Um, and I am on TikTok also now as I am Trevor May. We have two phenomenal TikToks and they should be viral. Um, but that concludes the first ever, ever episode of the May Contain Action Podcast. You Thank can listen. You so much. You can listen. Me. You're very, very welcome. You can listen on all major carriers of podcasts, including Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. Uh, you can mm-hmm. again. You can watch the VOD on YouTube, and we will also be on Radio.com. I was just told that um, before coming on today. So all those things should be up um, in the next day or two. Again, if you follow me on on any of the uh, any of these socials, it'll all be there, um, and you'll be able to find the links there too so give it a little bit of time it takes a second to get the first episode up but when, once it is it'll be out there i just want to thank paul and our guest gubba guest gubba for being here today and uh so we will see you next week same time same place uh with somebody we don't know who it is yet it'll be a surprise yeah. enjoy this outro Very music exciting. it's awesome bye everybody bye bye Oh, oh, oh.